2023 probably worked out better than you thought it was if you were an investor. We thought there was going to be a recession. We thought we were going to have problems and the market just kept going up and up. But here we are, 2024. What do you need to know? We're going to talk about it right now. So 2024, nobody really knows what's going to happen. But what we do know is that we're coming off of a great year when it comes to markets in 2023. It's going to be hard to repeat that. We know the economy is slowing down. It's still pretty good, but it's not as good as it has been moving forward. In other words, we're still adding jobs. Things still look pretty good, but we're not adding as many jobs. So adding jobs at a slower rate, that means it's slowing down. Also, where are people getting the money that they're spending? We're seeing credit card debt go up. So people are, more people are borrowing money to maintain a lifestyle and fewer people are getting hired over time. So what does that mean? Well, it's it means it's not growing as fast as it had and it's likely to slow down. How does that translate to investing in 2024? Well, when I take a look at markets, when I take a look at 2024, I can't imagine a repeat of 2023. In other words, it did very well, uh, again, surprisingly well, uh, but it did very well. And so when I take a look at all of the investment options that are available out there, let's just say we took an index, something like the S&P 500. What do I think the odds are that the S&P 500 is going to be up 5% next year? What do I think the odds are it's up 8% or 10%? If I thought the odds are that the S&P 500 was going to be up 5% next year, I wouldn't invest in the S&P. I would just go put my money in a CD or go find a money market account paying somewhere around 5%. I'm going to need to be compensated um, for uh, uh, risk if I'm going to take risk. And uh, there's really no compensation there at 5%. Well, what if the S&P was to return 8 well, that's a little bit better, right? I've taken a little bit of risk, but how much risk? So right now, I'll give you an example. So just the other day, we're looking and comparing uh, different investment options. I don't personally think uh, that the S&P is going to be up much at all next year, and it might even be down next year. Again, markets just don't keep going straight up. Um, but when I look at alternative investments, uh, and you've heard me talk about them in the past, uh, one of the things that we look at is something called a structured note. Now, the details of a structured note can be very different. It depends on the note. They come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, but I'll give you an example of just one that um, we actually looked at the other day. Again, this is not an offer for this note. I don't currently have it, but it's an example of what you might look at and how we view markets. So um, here lately, at least at the time of this uh, video, oil has been pretty volatile and actually down. And when you look at oil, something like West Texas crude, you could actually invest in West Texas crude. But if you invested in it, betting it goes up, uh, if it goes up, you'll do well. If it goes down, you'll do poorly. But if I were to uh, look at that inside of uh, a structured note, we were actually able to price a note, just means we went out and got pricing on it to see what it would pay. And we found that if we did a 13 month structured note, um, where the underlying investment, meaning what it was gonna track was uh, West Texas crude or WTI, uh, and we added 40% um, principal protection, they called a principal barrier, meaning um, uh, WTI would have to be more than 40% lower than it was at the time that it traded for the client to lose money. That would actually, at the time we priced it, pay 13%. So again, I just think you need to be an informed investor. If you knew what all of your investment options are and you're looking at 2024, would you rather be invested in something that pays 13% in 13 months as long as uh, the underlier, again, in this case, um, West Texas crude, as long as that's not down more than 40%, you get your principal back? Or would you rather uh, place a bet on the S&P being high or up? Uh, and would it be up more than 13%? Again, it's up to you. Everybody's a little bit different, but just stay informed when it comes to investments. Know what all of your investment options are. And if you don't know what they are, reach out to a fiduciary, work with somebody that can help you with that. Thank you for watching. Go to guardingyournestegg.com for your free and objective personal financial plan.